Hello and welcome to this video. I'm Vladimir Chopin. In this video, we're going to retouch this image utilizing new Adobe Photoshop and specifically Firefly AI. So some of you maybe still feel controversial about utilizing generative AI art in your images. However, I can say in a way you can use it. It is um, safe. It does not infringe on anybody's work. And most important, you can use it now for your commercial work. So for your commercial client, and it's actually a big game changer for us. So let's start beginning right here. We have our image and this was shot um, in a studio. Kind of Halloweenish theme, I think, which Halloweenish. So what we're going to do in this case, it is retouching and I'll show some steps and also how we can use a generative AI and some elements. So let's go right here. First, what I want to do, it is reduce some like this touch up on a face. And for this, we're actually going to use another AI, but this is AI will come as the plugin. Let's go create another layer and we're going to filters, retouch for me, and we're going to select retouch for me heal. So what it does this plugin, it is using AI analyze image, recognize the face positioning. Okay. Let me process so I can move this to our screen right here. So it's a recognized process. I recognize face, recognize skin, everything and removing those blemishes. It's actually work very fast and it is must to have tool for the professional photographer retouchers because if you're going photo shoot anything, for example, let's say you photo shoot some event or school photos or baseball, anything, and you have a lot of faces usually you will spend hours and hours go over this. If you write macro and you just go or automation and run to this, allow this application to do this for you. I mean, it is save you thousands of the dollars in the hours. So let's go ahead. We select right here and we'll click apply. And here if we look, we have it, our changes. Look how the touch ups. So let's get closer to our face. And you remember right here was something, so it's all gone. It's, it's a very fast and nice way to do. So let's go. We'll call this layer heal. So next I want to move the skin, create this look more kind of plastery, you know, painting effect on this. For this control shift alt E command option alt E take and create all layers together. We'll call it smooth and we'll just go to filter noise, dust and scratches. Then pop up about 20 for this resolution. You notice it's create like almost painting effect. It's not what we want to do. We want to apply this in some areas. So for this, hold down alt or option, click on a mask, we create mask and now our brush, 10% opacity on a white color. We can brush in what we do here is we just remove some of this noise, uh, contrast noise is what actually does. And it's provide this effect like it's moving really in, um, in reality, it is just reducing contrast on a smaller and we'll just do this in the face. Let's zoom out and right here, let's go over rest of the body. It's actually work very well, you know, just remove and oops, I remove it. There you go. And it does actually a very good job on smoothing. Be sure you smooth in all of these different areas where we need it. Okay. So we'll go. Okay. So after smoothing, I want to add painting effect to the hair, maybe to the flowers. We'll press. Well, you know what? Also, if you want it, you can smooth all background. I put 30%, so a bit better. And we can just a little bit smooth on a wrinkly. We can leave it to wrinkles. It's fine. It just, uh, if it's too much high details on the background, it will draw attention of our eyes. So I'm just reducing this way. Okay. Control Shift Alt E again. Now we're going to filter. 
stylize we're going to use the oil painting and we'll go use a 10 10 10 0 8 1 5 click OK this is will be just for the hair and I want actually going to filter sharpen and sharp mask just on the same layer put to the max just so let's go rename it to the hair okay same alter option create a mask zoom to the hair and let's paint in okay, 10 percent and you can switch very fast percentage by press top button one or two fast it's 12 if you hold down 220 weight 40 if you press very fast you can create double number so kind of very handy and fast way to change uh, brush opacity okay so we're done with hair let's go with flowers and flowers usually i like to do because this is plastic flowers but if we do this kind of painting effect it will hide and create look like it's realistic okay i think this look okay this little bit on the sides empty you know what i think it's a good time to use generative art so i'm going to select just a little bit right here and a little bit on the sides and we'll just go says generative art let's go that flowers type and click generate and after a short time you can see it's added we can go over different options to see which options work better actually i think i like this one so yeah let's leave it this you just give it us a little bit more kind of framing it's what we wanted okay of course you can use a generative art not just for this we can for example inside the globe select going around and we can have it i inside the globe so let's go ahead and create this one and here we have it our eye we're going to go over and just see which one we like it. I think I like this. And nice things we don't know. So right here we have it, our mask. We don't need to use this 100%. So it's meaning we can reducing and just add slightly. I think it's create more interesting effect as a visible eye inside. Okay. Okay, so after this, Actually, what I want to do is add some dodge and burn a little bit more dimensions to our image. And I'm going to create new layer. And we're going to fill this layer with 50% gray. Normal mode 100 opacity. Click OK. And switch this to the soft light. After this, we'll select our brush. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. And I'm just going to 10%. On white we're going to add a little bit right here more on the nose highlights also let's highlight on the lip top and bottom okay what is happening when it's a bright it's make closer and bigger and darker make far away and uh, smaller and this is how we work with our perception we creating this kind of a look so we're creating additional these dimensions like on the eyes so right there add a little bit more dramatic look okay and eyebrows a little bit there x switch to the black or background right here you can see the switch bit and now we can add a little bit more shadows add to the schools right there i will come back to this with other stuff but i think way and on the lips let's just add top and bottom before and after you can see just add a little bit more dramatic i think and let's go same things we'll just add a little bit to the arm create just like a light strikes there create right there okay also let's go now switch to the black and add overall shadows in our scenery like frog a little bit too bright here i want a 
want to reduce it. Almost like what we making the frame around, you know, make a darker look. Okay, now let's go make our cauldron is green. And we can play with this as well. You can actually go ahead and try You know what? Let's do this. Let's try. I don't know what will come up, but we'll try right here. Just select this area. Generate frog legs. I don't know what has come up, so we'll try this one. And here what we have. I think it's going to look... I don't know this one, but I definitely like first one. I like this one, how it's come up. Okay, we can also just reduce slightly down. Maybe, you know, around. Yeah, like right there. I think this is look good. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some more interesting colors to this. And we'll start with the first layer. Set this to soft light. Let's select poison green, kind of looking on a brush. Okay, and we can start painting. And what I'm going to do is just painting a little bit over here. Okay, and then very important for us to actually paint on our hands because how the lights will come. So we'll just painting right there. It's just imagine as light projecting, you know what I mean? It will make this green, maybe a little bit right here on the hand. Are you going? A little bit on the chest. Going right there. And of course, on her chin. Reflecting right here. And a little bit on the nose. It's almost like light projecting this way. Okay, right there. Let's go just a little bit more there you go I think this is look more interesting let's zoom out there you go I think this and I as we have an eye let's go switch to kind of purplishy right here and we'll just go painting a little bit more purplish color and as well we can touch up like lights coming up purplishy around there The general will work on the same palette because we have it like greenish purplish kind of. Okay. So let's go ahead, make a few more steps. Control Shift Alt E. And this is will be our global dungeon burn. Kind of add details to this. I'm going to image adjustment, black and white. Pop up a little bit on those colors. Okay, that's image adjustment shadow highlights. Be sure you are in a more options. Just check this box. And we have the amount 100, 100. Reduce the radius to about maybe 15. And we'll just take add black and pop up on the whites. Okay, and let's go to just filter, sharpen, and sharp mask on this. Just make even more edgy and switch this to the soft light. You can see how much darker it is. We don't need to do that far. We just need to add a little bit more texturing. Okay, as we speak about texturing, because we change smoothness and everything, we actually want to go ahead and create new layer. And it will be our noise. Oops, it's not what I wanted. I want to change name. So it will be our noise and we're going to fill up 50% gray, filter, noise, add noise. We will add just normal noise and shift, uh, switch to soft light. So all what it does, if we come closer, you can see the noise right now going on a skin and hair without this, you remember smooth skin. So skin will look smooth, but some areas won't look smooth will be grain. So all what we do, we kind of make uniform grain with this. Okay, and last step, let's add some color correction to this. And we're going to use for this selective colors. 
switch to the black just a little bit on the shadows let's go make them bluish shadows colder right there with cyanish maybe red no let's go with cyan kind of okay now we got neutral and neutrals we're going opposite we're going a little bit warming up on the neutrals and the highlights we take white yeah let's pop up a little bit more this way and we'll also make a little bit colder so it's always play kind of between cold and warm we could also work on like magenta background if you want you can add a little bit more like a darker maybe even reddish you know maybe let's create warmer on the background kind of like this i think that does look good let's preview before and after okay so and right here we have it our image we created with utilizing um adobe firefly ai engine and again this was before and this is after And I think it's frog legs kind of look interesting there. Something to add, something more interesting in the color. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you find this useful, please subscribe, give it likes, share this video. Your support is greatly appreciated. Thank you and have